Hope you guys are having a great day today so far. So I wanna introduce a new series that we're gonna be bringing to this channel. Um, it's gonna be basically investments into sneakers and streetwear. So what I mean by that is items that I think that you should go invest in, sneakers, streetwear, Supreme, whatever it may be. I'm gonna make it very specific. I'm gonna make items that are like very specific that I'm gonna be putting my own personal money into. So I'm even saying sneakers that you don't get for retail supreme that you do not get for retail stuff that would even be worth paying resale for so yeah you can still make a lot of money um, even if you don't get something off of a drop so drops can be super difficult sometimes and I understand that and certain items you're not out of luck. Certain items you can go get and you can actually make a ton of money off of. Um, like I've seen tons and tons of items last year that were on StockX for a certain price that have now doubled or tripled just in a month or a six month time period. And I wanna try to predict some of these items early. So by the end of the year, we can do like a recap video and we can see actually if these items went up, if it was totally worth your investment, if it wasn't but a lot of these items that I'm gonna be doing in this video guys it's items that I believe in and that I actually truly know will go up in the future for sure that you will not lose money on at all so the first one that I want to start off this series with guys is the Jordan 5 off-white so why I want to start with this shoe right now is because prices on StockX and GOAT on and eBay are super low Retail on this shoe was $225. So resale right now on these ranges anywhere from like 450 bucks for all those really small base sizes, um, all the way up to $750, $800 for some of the bigger sizes. So Jordan 5s are one shoe that, that big sizes do pretty well. Unlike a Jordan 1, you really want those small sizes and that's what I invest in personally. So I wanna really take you guys along and show show you guys exactly what sizes I'm paying resale for, um, what sizes do really good. Sizes are a huge thing in sneakers and a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people want to get any size and it's not all about that. Sometimes you're better off paying resale for a smaller size than even hitting a big size for retail. Um, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. So, but this shoe, I'm just going to go into this shoe specifically, but guys, for this future series and the channel, um, I'm going to be giving you completely honest information, just raw material that really dives into everything, dives into sizes that I personally will be putting money into um, and what really will benefit you guys in the end. So this right here, Jordan 5 Off-White, right, getting back to it. Um, resell on this shoe anywhere from 450 up to 800 bucks. So this pair right here, I paid $730 for shipped invoice. So that was total, including everything. If you do buy it on StockX, you'll end up paying a little bit more. You'll pay like 790, 800 for a 10 and a half. So why I got a 10 and a half? So partly the reason why I got a 10 and a half, um, I wasn't super specific on size for this shoe. So Jordan 5s are not, very like size specific like ones are ones are super super size specific and you have to get the right size to be able to make large amounts of profit so Jordan 5 I went for a 10 and a half I never 10 and a half is a size that I never really mess with I either mess with a bigger size or a way smaller size but in these I think a 10 and a half is gonna do just fine like most sizes so a 10 and a half right now is in the mid range of prices it's like in the middle you can kind of think of those smaller sizes as cheaper the smaller they get and then bigger sizes get a little bit more expensive. Um, this is a good mid-range starter to start with. Um, I'm gonna test out the market with these. I'm, I do have a couple pairs coming in as well. So I did put a good amount of money into these. Prices are super cheap right now on these. This is a Jordan and this is an off-white collab. So instantly it should be worth a lot more than what it is going for. Um, last year I did the UNC Jordan 1 off-whites came out. I purchased a size 12 new on StockX for $650 like three weeks after it came out, right? Um, that's sitting anywhere from $1,300, around $1,300 right now. So 
double money instantly. And I get that that's a Jordan 1 and it's a more popular model and everything, but we still um, aren't really giving this credit. This is the first colorway of a series two, which always helps. So the first OG colorway, um, it's always gonna go for the most unless they release a way, way better. And I mean, it has to be like a way better colorway in the future, but everybody likes this color. It's a dark color, it goes with goes with most stuff. Um, like going back to the Jordan 1s, Jordan 1 Off-White Chicago's were a red, everybody liked those, and those are going for $4,000 right now, which is just insane to me because I remember when they first came out, they were $1,000 on StockX retail. So I think you guys should be buying these right now. And I don't, I, I'm not super specific on sizes. I think anything above like a seven to an eight, anything above that is a safe bet um, to put your money into. The smaller size you get is cheaper right now, which is surprising to say, because usually those smaller sizes are much more expensive and pretty much everything else. But in these, the smaller sizes are a little bit cheaper. I think um, guys enjoy wearing these more than women as well. I think. Um, that's why partly why smaller sizes are a little bit cheaper because I think most um, men are the ones who are mostly going to be wearing these. So guys, really anything safe above an eight um, would be great to throw your money into in these. I'm personally putting quite a bit of money into them. So I truly like believe in this shoe. Um, I'm going to pull these out. I'm going to show you kind of this shoe in depth and show you that it's a really, really good quality sneaker that is 100% going to go up. Um, just like an overall beautiful, good quality sneaker. I really have my eye on this shoe right now is because it's a Jordan and an Off-White collab. We rarely see Jordan and Off-White collab. Um, we really haven't except for the Jordan 1s. So the Jordan 1s are obviously the biggest Off-White shoe. Um, they resell for the most money other than the Air Forces, of course. Um, but like Jordan 1s, everybody wants those on the Chicago colorway, the European colorway, and the UNC colorway. All of those has have like shot up, skyrocketed since they came out. Chicago's have shot up the most for sure. UNC's have gone up a ton and Europeans have gone up a little bit too. Um, this is the second Jordan collab we're actually seeing. Guys, keep in mind, this is a Jordan and an off-white sneaker together and it's still only selling for six, seven, eight hundred bucks, which is super, super cheap. So I'm not gonna give you guys an exact time of when these are actually going to shoot up, but I can say at the end of the year, 100%, if you buy these now, you will make money. Um, I'm gonna be saving these at least until December probably um, of the end of this year, and then I might cash them out. Um, I might not, just depending on where the market goes, but I can 100 hundred percent see this as a shoe that will shoot up. Um, if you guys have money and you want to invest in some sneakers right now, buy these. I'm telling you, this is um, one of my top, top five things I'm buying right now for sure is Jordan 5 Off-Whites. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, go leave a thumbs up. Make sure to go follow our Instagram at BC Archives. We do post a lot of stuff for sale on there. We post what we're actually buying. So just go check it out. Make sure to go hit that subscribe button. I'm going to have um, another like part of this series, a video coming out a little bit later, probably within the week of another pair of shoes that I'm gonna show you guys um, that's doing pretty well right now and that I think is gonna do even better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.